Hello, beautiful people, and welcome back to Creating with Mimi. Today, we are in the great room, and we are full swing. Swing into spring. <laughs> And we are fully getting into the spring decor today. I will be setting up this area for spring and summer. I probably will not change throughout the summer other than maybe some floral accessories. I will show you guys one, maybe two different looks. I haven't decided on how much I'm gonna actually get done today because today I'm having a late start, so we will see. But as you can see, things are kind of cleaned up from Christmas and we are over here in our spring, showing you guys the kitchen area, the entryway, and now we're moving on through the house and to the great room. And this is a large room, so there will probably be two, maybe three videos just in this area alone. Also, I am excited to share with you guys the one of the first drops for the draperies. I shared with you guys that I'm having pillows and a drapery drop. Today in this room, I will be putting up a pair of draperies and I haven't decided which one I'm going to keep up. I will place two pairs of draperies, so that's two different decor styles, and I haven't decided which one I'm going to keep up for the entire summer, but I'll keep you guys posted, and you can leave a comment in the comment section letting me know which you think should be the keeper. So let's just get started without further ado as to what is going to take place. I already have the ladder set up. I will place the first panel on this side and then I will move to your right, my left side, and bring in the pillows, accessories, start layering things. Layering is what really gives your space the interest, that magazine-worthy look. So let's get started. Let me give you guys a close-up of this fabric, though, first off. These drapery panels are on grumnet. The material is so rich and luscious. This yellow is bright, and it's the perfect undertone color of yellow that I actually wanna see. Part of this window will be covered. So the reason why I like to add a blackout effect is so that when the sun comes through, you won't see a part of the drapery panel where it looks cheap or inexpensive. You will see one solid color of fabric throughout. And that's one of the reasons. The second reason is for function with blackout. If you have no covering over the back or your windows, in time, the sun is actually going to bleed out your fabric and it's going to start to tear. All of these precautions that I'm actually placing is because I'm here in California and the sun can be so deadly on your furniture, your rugs, your window treatments, whereas they will not last more than two years because the sun is so harsh here. Three fabrics. Normally it is a lining, a super thick fabric, and a blackout, and it just looks amazing when they lay. When they hang on the window, it just looks so custom. And it's a big difference. I think I'll get the Amazon drapery and then I'll show you the difference between custom drapery and drapery that you can pick up retail in the store. It is a world of difference. It's the difference between having panels up two years, 10 years, or even 15 years. Drapery can be super, super easy. Once your rod is up, it's really simplistic, especially when you have grummets free. I always start off with the inside folded inward. So all you need is a piece of, this is just fabric. Normally I have, this is plastic. Normally I have fabric and I'm just going to tie it around the bottom just a little bit, not enough to get a crease, but enough so that when this drops down, it's gonna lay perfect. That is so gorgeous. Let's hang the other side. These panels were not 
made to go completely and cover the window. They're only panels, which is drapery that is strictly for the end. And it's just made to complement. It adds texture. It's almost like the jewelry that you wear with an outfit or the pair of shoes that you put together with an outfit. If I try to close them all the way, probably barely will they make it. I'll show you guys with the, the side how far over they'll actually go. Now my draperies tend to be thicker in terms of width and in terms of thickness or texture. Most drapery panels are only one width which will span maybe 50 inches. These will span longer than 50 inches. Probably I'll get 74, 75 inches. You could use these to close a window. I just have not designed these to actually cover up and give window coverage completely. try to open up this side but there's a table back here but I kind of I want to know for myself how far over it goes these panels will completely cover I will measure later how many inches there is no need for me to cover the entire window because I like my spaces to be open. You see how these are just falling into place? I just love that. And that's because of the fabric. The fabric is so rich. I have maybe, like here's a line, one wrinkle. And I literally mean these drapes have been folded up for months. How long will I leave the tie on the fabric, on the drapery? Maybe about a day. You could steam them. You could pin it that way and steam it. I'm just, I'm honestly being too lazy um, to steam them up. So we're gonna be working with yellow. And having said that, I am going to curate the space. All of this is from Christmas. These chairs were actually on the other side. So this entire family room section, the sectional, <laughs> the sectional was on this side, so I completely switched it around. And that's something that you guys can do instead of going out buying a new sofa, because I know I talked about this, I do want a new sofa. Or I want to upholster this sofa, and I have decided I am going to go with an all white ivory sofa. I placed these chairs in here, and the, there's two other white chairs in this space that are typically uncovered most of the time, just to see how well my family is going to operate with the white, and they're pretty good. The arms of the chairs look amazing, and that's how you can really tell. The arms of the chairs aren't really spotted. They look amazing, and I thought that they would do well. This sofa is probably 20 years old. I won't even say how many times I've cleaned it, but I haven't cleaned it as often as I should and it's still in pretty good condition. I haven't decided if I'm going to keep this. I probably won't keep this pink. The only reason why I'm not taking it away right now is I love this. I did a, a treatment for the kitchen where I use that in the kitchen. I'm just loving the pink. I'm loving the organic. Um, these are just little picks that I kind of put inside of here. And it, the contrast is amazing. It has texture, it has shape, and it has style. Those are the things that we're gonna talk about in another video of how to actually style your cocktail table or how to fill your spaces in the room so that your room looks curated. You guys remember the video that I showed you how I made this table? This is a forever piece, I believe, for me. It is just gorgeous. The Perfectness makes this table perfect. There hasn't been a style or shape 
in this space that this table did not work. The color is great, it's just everything. So I will be keeping this piece, I shouldn't say forever. First up, we're gonna bring in, I believe I'm gonna bring in some lamps. Normally I have lamps back here, but I also put lamps outside and I haven't even gotten to the outside area, opening it up for the summer and spring and all of this gorgeous weather we're gonna be. I believe that is going to be a full transformation with some of the ideas that I wanna do for that space. These lamps are not new. I'll probably need to clean them up a little bit. I have used them for the last couple of years, various spaces throughout the house. And I use these outside. How do I keep my lampshades so white? I literally cover everything up. That's gorgeous already. Who likes the white lamps? Okay, they're stained. I just love that yellow and white contrast. I'm <clears throat> placing all of these plugs like this because all of my lights in the house are pretty much on timers in those areas in the areas where I want to actually light a room. I place things on timer so that it automatically comes on. Regardless of what time I come home in the evening, certain rooms are already lit. So let's see what that looks like. The table that's behind the sofa, it's really only 60 inches. But what I did was I went to a glass store and I had a glass made of 72 inches. So that extends my table, and that's a hack that I do all the time. Whether it is glass or a stone piece, I always make it larger than the actual table that it's sitting on. Yes, I'm folding this up because I plan on reusing it. I'm creating what I call refine layering that adds the interest to the room so that you're designing something or you're getting something ready that's actually going to have a photo finish. Ahead of time, I decided already on the pillows that I wanna bring in the space. And I always like a good ivory or white pillow. This fabric that I'm bringing in, it matches the fabric that's on the chairs. But the pillows are pillows that have a piping around it in the same fabric. They are zippered and the corners of the pillows so that you don't have what I call the little pointed bunny ears are perfectly rounded off. Going to place it in the corner. And why am I not using this pillow? Because it is ivory, so let's talk about that. This pillow is ivory and it's been on the sofa. It works very well with the tan color or mocha color of my sofa. But for this application, I've got so much busyness. I don't wanna bring in another pattern. When these two are next to each other, this looks so much better. Let me fill it and then I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. seen how many times that I take pillows and put them inside of other pillows. This pillow, by itself, it's great, right? But now that I'm going to start adding things in here, I've got, if I keep the pink floral, the fuchsia floral, and then I've got the yellow curtains, which are a lot, and now I'm framing it with the white lamps, and the sofa in itself is tufted. There's so many patterns going on that I don't want it to look too busy. I would like to create something that's serene and has a simplistic calming effect. So if I take this pillow off out of the way and I insert this one, do you see how much more calming and streamlined that is? It's picking up on the other colors that are in the room. So since this fabric is the same fabric and it is a uh, performance fabric in itself. But even though you guys, when they say performance fabric, performance fabric, I still spray fabrics for my clients so that I'm making sure that their fabric will last a long time. Okay, I got all my white ivory pillows out. 
and things are looking gorgeous the way that I have anticipated them looking inside of my head. I've removed the pink floral because it's convoluting with what I would like to do. So I'm gonna work on this table and then I'm gonna show you guys different yellow pillows that would work really well for this space. Keep in mind each time that I'm stepping away, it is pretty much to determine what does that look like to me. So the orchids are always, they're always lovely. close-up of the floral. These are so realistic. The buds, the yellow, the pink, which remember pink is our theme. It's just I'm loving the contrast. So I will actually set up more than one. gorgeous it is it's a resin it's not a marble but it's made to look like a marble and it looks really good I'm gonna keep the cocktail table because it's not very large in diameter it might be 36 so I'm gonna keep it really small and simplistic just something to add a little bit of texture now to the back of the room so there's there's a few things going on with this decor for me it brings brightness happiness joy with the, the yellow the yellow and the well it's kind of like a yellow gold mustard color drapery set the tone for this space and I don't want it to be overwhelming and it looks like it is a yellow and white room even though I've got this super large window behind it and it's bringing all of the outdoors in, which my outdoor still hasn't turned super green yet from the winter, but we're gonna work on that next week. I wanna bring in some more greenery and these are just little faux balls. I have them, I keep them around and I'm just gonna drop a, maybe one, two. I think just two. Three is a little crowded, if you guys can see that. Three is a little crowded, and I don't want to take away from the bowl, because the sculpture and the shape of this bowl is drop-dead gorgeous, but I do want to add something to the back. Do you guys see this area here? where this is uh, called layering because this is such an open space. I had something else here before. I can't remember what it was, but now I took it down and I've still got screws up here. I'm gonna have to call in the painter. So I need to either fill this area up here. Well, I probably need to do both. Fill the area here and place something on top of this marble table. This is another area that's open. Every area doesn't need to look full. However, we want it to look like a finished product. And a good way to do that is to add your larger element or just sheer greenery. I don't know if this vase is going to work here, but what I love about it is it's picking up on the tan color from the sofa. It's got texture that I can't be bored with. 
and it looks very natural and organic. I can just leave it here by itself. That looks good. I don't want to necessarily place another floral in here because I think I think we've got the florals pretty much where we want them to be. I don't want to add a print, I believe, but I might. I may add a print there. So let's play with the actual accessory pillow to see how that works. Pillow number one for me in this space would be this gorgeous pillow here. It is a velvet, it's two-toned, and most of my pillows are always going to be two-toned so that you have a variety in your decor. And on the other side, it's got this floral print. The stem is mocha taupe color, and then the floral is yellow. And then you've got uh, leaves. This is just, it's just a gorgeous pillow. And I want to place it here. Always decorate or try to have like some kind of throw. It just adds a layer of texture that you can never ever ever get bored with. Definitely want to add a third or pillow here. It just completes everything for me. Let's take this out. This is one of those foam pillows. This is one of those pillows that you can't, it just doesn't have flexibility. And it's made or stuffed with a man-made material. And you literally have zero flexibility in this. I. I can't stand these. I would have to keep chopping it, and over time, it's just gonna stand back up. Opposed to this down pillow insert, that just gives me much more flexibility. Do you wanna address this corner because it just, if I don't add anything to the top, I definitely need to place something inside of here, and I think this might be the trick, or it may be too much, but I'm gonna step back and see for myself. It's too much. I think that's it, and the reason why that works is because it's just green, and green acts as a, okay, just a basic color. It's almost like a black or a white. It doesn't have a lot of anything. We have the floral here, floral here, more green, floral in the pillows. I love everything that I have selected so far in this grouping, this one sitting area. Things are coming together really well. So I wanna add a color or some type of pillow to this side for these chairs just to make it completely cozy. I know that I have pillows on the other side. Since we're working with the yellow pillows, I decided to place a yellow pillow there and another yellow pillow here. Keep in mind, guys, it doesn't matter if the colors don't match because that's not what we want. We want to complement the yellow and we want to complement the gold if that's my main focus of color. Let's talk about that. I've complemented these colors here in the floral on the pillows. I'm gonna take this down so that you guys can see a little bit better. On the pillows, this pillow has it here. Then we've got the gold on the draperies. I'm gonna give you guys a spin around of everything. And then I will switch up and show you with the same elements, meaning the base of everything, the table, the sofa, the drapes. I will keep the white lamps there. And the only other thing that I will do is switch out the pillows. And it is so simple. We've had conversations about how simple it is to redesign and decorate just with pillows only. I was a girl alone in the corner, drinking by herself on a Saturday night. You were the guy with your friends at the door. You had the time of your life Had we met before And seen chemistry Was so glad you came Had we 
quickly, I want to show you guys just this area, one more setup for summer, how you could change your living space, your great room with just simple things, i.e. moving the pillows, a few, a few floral. I'll switch it out and show you guys. I'm going to move this to right here because I'm not sure if I'm going to use it for this next look. But everything else, I will keep the same. I will keep the white lamps. That way you're not wasting things or find yourself every different season. You're out buying something new. That is not necessary. Once you curate your basic pieces, the only thing that you need to do is just switch out pillows. I will switch out the yellow, but I am going to keep the gorgeous yellow drapery up for a few reasons. I'm probably too lazy to change them right now. I do want to take a look at what it looks like with white. So I may do that video. You may see that in this video, but I'm not sure. So let's move this out of the way. I love her. She's gorgeous, was super, super simple to make. And now we're back to pretty much a basic blueprint with exception of keeping our sofa lamps, drapery. I will keep this plant on this side because it's so neutral. The vase is neutral and it helps to fill this corner so that I don't have like an empty space that looks incomplete. So let's start with this, which is another pattern. And keep in mind, all of the pillows that I'm showing you guys today will be available at the drop. It's a yellow, it has the gray. Love this, I, I just simply love the floral. All of my pillows do not have a pattern or design, but most of them do, especially in the spring, summertime. I will place that one here. If you're not a person to always want pattern, but you want something a little bit more simplistic, you can always opt to just having the gorgeous Chanel. Let me give you guys a close up of this one. This is a, it's a Chanel like tweed fabric. Very, very durable. I love the color. It's almost like the perfect color, yellow or canary. You can place this pillow next to the white or you can just place the two here which looks great. And then just leave the white in the corners if you choose to. And let me show you what it looks like if we bring that floral back. And this is just bringing back the exact same floral arrangement. You don't necessarily need to bring back the exact same, but you could. That looks amazing together. And it's not too much. I can still sit here with the pillow at my back and be completely comfortable. That's why I like having a pillow when you're in your seating arrangements because it just makes your guest a lot more comfortable. Especially adding pillows in a sectional corner area, it's always best to add as many pillows in the corner. I have two, sometimes I will opt for three because people tend to, well, the people that are in my family, <laughs> They tend to really lounge around when the seating is completely comfortable. This sofa is so old, but she has served me <laughs> greatly. <laughs> Starting from scratch, just your basic bones. And granted, I know this section of the room is already pretty without the pillows, but we wanna take it up and elevate our decor style. Always consider elevation. What can I do to elevate or enhance my decor style? And that way, guys, you're not bored. Let's bring in one of my favorite colors, this gorgeous green. Again, we're mixing patterns. We've got two different green colors, a deeper green, a lighter green, the gray and the ivory. So the patterns in each pillow that I've chosen will work with a variety of styles and decor. This is the green. I'll place it here on the white. Look at that. This is just gorgeous. 
These patterns and pillows that have been utilized is simply amazing. This is just one pillow that was placed on this chair and it is just, it's gorgeous. It is simply gorgeous. Take the pillow off. The chair is nice, don't get me wrong. But when you put the pillow on, wow, crazy. It's gorgeous. Sometimes when I'm doing my installs, everyone is talking about how beautiful the space looks. Oh my God, it's so beautiful. I don't necessarily feel it until I start putting pillows on. <laughs> that is just my thing. I think the pillows add volumes to decor. And I will place the one in this corner here. Since I'm framing out the window, I will place another one here. I'll bring back the gold just to tie in and fill this room. And if you guys notice, I haven't over decorated with pillows, pillows, pillows everywhere. I'm literally taking strategic patterns and placing them in different areas. I didn't double up in this corner. I placed two pillows in that corner, but I can simply, if I wanna edit, I can take that away. I love the fact of putting two pillows here and it just frames everything out. I could bring back this floral arrangement and it works with the space. And wait till you guys see this other vase. It's gorgeous. My gosh, she's pretty. This vase that I have here, that green, it just sets the tone for the room. And you have no one thing that stands out. I will edit and this floral arrangement here, I will take it and sit it right on the ground and it acts as a backdrop to fill in this area. And the vase is what speaks volume, not necessarily the fact that I have willow branches. And these are real branches that I've just collected and I've had over time. I make tons of floral arrangements with this branch. The volume in this space is this apple green and the shape of the vase. I am creating so much texture in this space. It's simply amazing. Don't kill me. This vase is not available. I've had it for, I don't know, maybe 10 years. So I can't get another one. But I will try to look for something and I will attach it in the description if I can find something. Say you don't want the natural willow, and I'm taking my time taking this out because these are real and I don't want to break them. I was a girl all alone in the corner Drinking by herself on a Saturday night You were the guy with your friends at the doorway Pretending that you had the time of your life Had we met before in sync chemistry I was so glad you came a floral I'm gonna show you guys a good alternative you could just drop in some of these natural baby breaths and this you can pick up at Hobby Lobby Michael's it's a quick inexpensive way to add to your floral this is so 
gorgeous. How do I get in the room with adding the, the green? Another element, another color, another mood. The green with the yellow and the gold. This room screams springtime. It screams spring. I would like a few more candles on the table. And I can see myself totally in this mood. Setting up the table, let's talk about that a little bit. I've got one vignette that I've created. If I add the candles, it sort of becomes two. And I'm creating this vignette. I've got books, dimension, height, texture, and color. And then the other element would be adding value, like if there was something sentimental that you wanted to place out or a photo, a small photo of something, that would be great. The elements that I'm using, it really comes together. There is a method that I utilize when I'm setting my tables. Can you imagine this in the evening time? This is just gorgeous. I, I keep saying that, but it is. It's simply gorgeous. I can imagine coming home in the evening time, relaxing, no television, and enjoying this space completely. If you like this video, hit that like button or subscribe. You will be notified each time there is a new upload. Until next time, make every day a great day.